we'll get Dami Mommy, but there are also three princesses that we haven't gotten before that I want to get. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, let's... Let's go. Uh, my my mouse was like scrolling down here to just turn around and leave. Um, have you considered maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course... You do your job and slay her. Fine, mom. Goddamn. Uh, let me see here. Okay, thanks for telling me what Don't to do. It. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Seed to the cabin. I, maybe we should... Yeah, let's try a... Let's do like a, like a mean the route first. The of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, so there are a few things that I haven't done in this game. I haven't gone down and, like, tried to free the mean princess. And there are a couple princesses I haven't killed. Okay, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? It's me, your possible hero. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay. Uh. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Let's see. Okay, how do we get Dommy Mommy? Because I want Scooter to see this too. Uh, steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, 
you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Um... I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Uh, squint at the princess while holding it. <laughs> Fine, then I guess we're at, uh, I'm gonna... Say, drop the blade. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands <laughs> and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clack. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgment. Look at her dead eyes. Her eyes are so dead. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Now, I did this last time, and I think it's really funny, so I'm going to do it one more time just for all of the raiders. You have all of these options to talk to her, right? Like, how do we get out of here? I'm right here, you're supposed to end the world. You know, all of this really important lore information. And at the very end, it's just, okay, we've talked enough. And this is what she says to that. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? <laughs> she is just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slay the princess. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run oh, her through. Shit, I said it. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Sledgehammer! Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat oh. awful footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. Uh... Finish. Actually, fl no. Flee and lock her in the base shit. I, I know that I'll get Dami Mommy if we give up, so give up. Are you serious? As internal bleed you lack oh, the will to finish the job, your bruised and broken body falling to its knees before her. The princess, exhausted, chest heaving with heavy breaths, tosses the blade away from you. This is the end, isn't it? Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She plants her foot on your chest and pushes you onto your back, the air leaving your lungs in a heavy puff. And then she brings her knee to your throat. She leans into it with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess, shattering your windpipe. And leaving you starved for breath. Well, it's too bad. I was looking forward to some company. Everything goes dark, and you die. And now we get to see Dommy Mommy. The tower. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Also, to note, every male voice is Jonathan Sims. Every single one is him. Uh, and then all of the female voices, like all f for the princess, those are all for the prince, the same lady as well. So they only have, they only have two voice actors for this entire game. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. <clears throat> you know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder <laughs> than you think to keep secrets from me. 
What does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. Okay. This is more than just deja vu. I'm pretty sure the whole, this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. Uh... Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Of course we died. She didn't feel pain. She didn't feel much of anything, did she? And she broke every bone in our body before she decided to let us die. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. What were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop her now? It's pointless. She's just a princess. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Thanks, bitch. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making a rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she ended the entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains and let her do whatever she wants. It's all the same in the end. Just because she's capable of ending the world doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. Thanks, dude. Uh, let's just proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. <laughs> she does not. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. I hate that fucking saying. You're being annoying. Yeah. Just ignore their bickering and Whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. We're making- we're pl uh... Oh my god! Why do you do this to me, Ninja, please? I'm already trying to save a princess, and now I have to be ch Shit! Ah! Okay, I can't do that voice very well, it's not very good. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I've got to do this now. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her. But if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Cool walking broski, looking it out for the charity. Appreciate you. Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. See you all shut up with anticipation. I'm seeing the dummy mommy. If that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. Would it be dummy mummy? It's hard to tell with this accent. All I'm saying is I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but I did it once for a joke. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. 
The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. All right. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? Because the door's real fucking big. We don't feel small. This whole cabin's different than uh, different than the last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. I, I fucking have, bruv. Uh, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. <laughs> Good to know Nevis playing pixels. <laughs> Uh, enter the basement. Gonna ignore the mirror because I feel like it. Hey, and then it disappeared. There we go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. <laughs> this is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Continue down the stairs. Making we got this. Down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort. Every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view. And you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. Let me get here. Let me get the thing out the way so you can witness her in all her glory. Ready? The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. God, look at her. She's so fucking. Mm. 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 I don't think, and now I don't have to talk like Jack anymore. The dummy mommy. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. He brought that knife again. Even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Blade slips from your fingers and clatters uselessly to the floor. We didn't have to do that. We did, though. Yet you did. Exactly. He's so much more than us. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. <laughs> yes, ma'am. On her command, you fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. That's my good little bird. <laughs> Why don't we talk? A good little bird, guys. The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And here you are again, trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? You, ma'am. Speak. <laughs> Woof. The last time we met. I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, no, I won't tell you. That's like, it that needs to be ended with Baba Baka. Um, you're supposed to end the world. Weak -willed For them? For this mommy, I, uh, yes. Actually, yes. Is that so? Hmm. The princess closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. She's inevitable. There's nothing else for us to do but... Uh, what would you have me do? What do you have planned? Um, just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. Um, I'm not going to help you in the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. I'm yours to command. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? Yes. All you need to do now is break my chains. This is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. I sure do. You can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. You assume I had will to begin with, madam. <laughs> there's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Is... is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me, she... You're a small one, aren't you? It's just the pizza I ate, TVH, it ain't that tea. A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Holy shit. Rise, my little bird. Without, Without hesitation, you're, you're brought, brought to your feet. feet. Holy shit. That's awesome. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? All we have is a blade. All you need to do is believe it's been done. I have to do uh have to, it's over, I'm sorry. Just break her chains. Her chains shatter, and the cuff falls from her wrist. She is loose. And, and the, the end, end is, is upon, upon us. <laughs> what a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. Your obedient servant, pledge your loyalty to your better. <laughs> You do not take her hand. Something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place, you bitch. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? Um... The narrator's it gone. Is. Does that mean the world ended? Whatever took her just fuck with the wrong little bird. Figures the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. <laughs> oh, Hidden, I'm gonna break your heart so bad, and I'm so sorry in advance. I'm begging you, don't do this. You approach the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. I don't want to look at us. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. 
They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach. She looks so upset. Approach her. Oh, God. She's huge. Uh, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I am. Uh, actually, solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Uh, what do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans. Reduced to shallow creeks. Uh, let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Uh, is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Fair. The gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is Bonamus. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Let's see, we're getting handsy over here. Yep. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. Oh, damn. Uh, are you what sent me to say the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Okay. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Uh, let me see. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, Hope, as I witness you. Uh, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Hmm. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Ooh, okay. Uh... And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I wonder if what happens if I do this. I'm not going back and just wait. It's, it's... Do I wanna? Hold on. Let's save real quick. As you can tell, I've played this game a couple times. <laughs> Oop. Yeah. All right. So let's see what happens when we do this. If you need time. Then I'll wait with you. This is not how you get a handle on things. <laughs> uh, wait forever. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you. But I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? 
Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Huh? What just happened? Oh my god, it closed out of the game! Return to me. Oh, holy shit! We were gone mere moments. I never left your side. <laughs> and it just opens back up to it. Holy shit! It's how her mommy comes in a prank. <laughs> uh. That was great. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Let's just make me forget. That I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die.